We are at the ramparts of Jerusalem. In front of you, you can see St. Anne Church, which is a beautiful crusader church. And I'm going to enter, I've tried to go and enter to bless the family of Joanne um, Baxwick from Canada, if I remember correctly. And next to it is the Pulse of Betrasta. That's where Jesus healed, cured the invalid guy who couldn't enter to the uh, pools um, for 38 years. And that's happened on the John chapter 5. That place is owned by the French and uh, we are living now. Um, um, the ramparts, but before that look how beautiful is Mount of Olives, you can see my dear family, it's like Annie, Jennifer, Hazel, August, William, Nils, little Nils, and of course Mark. Uh, look how beautiful it is, Mount of Olives, the Jewish quarter, a Jewish cemetery from the time of King David. Right here you can see um, Golden Onion Church, it's Mary Magdalene Church, but beneath it is Garden of Gethsemane. That's where Jesus was betrayed by Judas. And the Ascension Church is in front of you as well. That is where Jesus ascended into heaven, but promised us to come back from the same spot. Now, Gay okay, gonna close the church soon, and I promise to take a video for the family. It's not easy in their church. Then let's hope that we will be able to do that. Um, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. We are now at the Lion's Gate. You can see the entrance or the exit of it. And we will enter to that street. And hopefully we will visit St. Anne Church. It is, uh, uh, oh, look at that beautiful almond tree and that's my name Shaked my family name that's almond in Hebrew Shaked before my family we will enter to the church I want you to see a little bit of it and we will talk about the story of Mary here outside because I cannot talk inside the beautiful crusader church then in that case, although it's not in the Bible, there is a proto evangelion from the second century that tells us what's happened to Mary before and after. Then, in that case, I know that the Greek Orthodox and the Catholic accepted Protestant. For you, it might be a little bit um, um, new. But we don't know where Mary was born. Some people say that she was born in the Galilee area. Some people say that she was born here. And according to the proto evangelion it's happened in that area. That in that matter, um, a mother, Anna and Joachim, that is their house. Anna couldn't bring children into that world. And she was sad. She prayed to God almost every day, asked her for solution. It actually reminds us Hannah, the mother of Prophet Samuel, same idea. And then when she was very old, an angel came to them and said, you're gonna have a child. Nine months later, Mary was born. Then this is the house of them and later on the crusaders built here a church the church is from the 11th century it was uh, occupied by the Muslims uh, by Salahaddin at the 11th century they turned it into a women's school and which is good for us because it actually saved the most beautiful crusader church in the world now let's hope that they are going in to pray because the acoustic is amazing and remember Joanne 
and your dear family, your names are in Hebrew and English at the other side of it. Let's go together with them, but I cannot um, talk in Spanish. You know what? First, let's go into the nativity. If they are not going to the nativity, then let's go together to the nativity itself. Because this is your mission. Look how beautiful is the Crusader Church. Jennifer, Peter, Hazel, August, William, and Nils. You are chosen from the Nativity of Mary. And the group is coming, and I will let them be here for like a minute, and then I will return.
is that Jesus and Mary, no my dears, it's Mary and Hannah, their mother, and I will light a candle for you in about 10, 10 minutes, but first I want to go outside to show you the other part of the pools before they're going to close the church. And according to the John, only John, chapter 5, Jesus came to here on Shabbat. And we saw a paralyzed uh, guy, um, invalid guy, who couldn't enter to the pools uh, for 38 years. He was supposed to um, enter the pool when the angel will actually be here and the water will be a little bit wavy and the first one who will enter the um, beautiful um, pools he will um, uh, will be cured but the man couldn't stand and he couldn't reach the water then for 38 years he was waiting for a miracle and that miracle came on Shabbat when uh, Jesus asked him do you want to be cured? He didn't ask him do you want to believe in me? Just say do you want to be cured? And, and, and that guy said of course I want I, I, I'm trying to do that for 30 years already then just stand up take your um, take your bed and go and that's what happened to him. He took his bed, and that was a major mistake because that was on Shabbat. To cure people, it's not a problem. But to take the, the bed and go, it's like a mission. You did something that you're not supposed to do on Shabbat. Remember, Shabbat, according to the Jews, you have to strike. God built the, the world in six days, and then the seventh day, he said, I am not working, and you are not supposed to work as well. Uh, what you can see here are part of the pools. Um, it can be the sh uh, sheep uh, pools, um, the place that people used to um, um, clean their clothes at the 8th century BC mansion, the book of Jesaja uh, and uh, the book of uh, Kings. And um, on it, you can see two churches the first one the smallest one is the crusader church and the byzantine church was huge it started from there can you see that arch right there and went all the way to here you can see some columns from that church The Crusaders split the story of uh, the invalid people and Mary's house into two. That is the first church dedicated to John 5. And this is St. Anne Church, the mother of Mary. And we just came from the grotto, remember? Then Annie, Mark, Peter, Jennifer, Hazel. August, William, Niels, and Mark. Did I mention any? I think yes. I think. Let's go back to the nativity, and I will be. I'll try to be there for like two or three minutes. Then you can actually pray by yourself. Now let's enter now um, to the church again, and. Um, I'm happy because they, they, I can now take videos, mainly because they are tourists. You can see Salah al-Din inscription. Remember, it turned it into a girl's school. Later on, I forgot to mention, uh, the Ottomans used it as a stable for their army camp.
Thank you very much for being with me.